OK, so we have sine of theta times cosecant of theta minus sine of theta. These are not like terms, so we can't combine them. However, we do have parentheses, and we have our um, function outside of it telling us that we're going to need to multiply, right? So whenever you're looking at these and you're trying to simplify your identities, if it says multiply, just go ahead and multiply, and then let's see if we can use our trigonometric terms. The only thing we could use right now initially is converting cosecant to 1 over sine. But that's not really going to help us because we can't subtract you know, those two terms anyways. So let's apply distributive property and simplify across and see what we get. So sine of theta times cosecant of theta is sine of theta times cosecant of theta minus sine squared of theta, right? Sine times sine would be sine squared, OK? So now let's apply our kind of trigonometric terms here. So we have sine squared, or sorry, sine times cosecant of theta. Well, let's rewrite that as sine of theta times 1 over sine of theta minus sine squared of theta. Well, obviously, we know that we can rewrite this as a, as a numerator. So sine of theta times 1 over sine of theta, that's a, number, that's a term multiplied by its reciprocal. Those divide out to 1, so we're left with 1 minus sine squared of theta. All right? And then remember, we're just still trying to simplify. What is the small, can we write this you know, as one trigonometric term or a very simplified term? So we see, automatically we see sine squared. Anytime you see your trigonometric term squared, always try to think of, can I use my Pythagorean identities? And we just went through the Pythagorean identities. The first one we talked about was, sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta equals 1. So that's pretty close to that, but that says 1 minus sine squared. Well, if we, know, if we take a look at this, if we wanted to get look at where 1 minus sine squared, if I subtract the sine squared of theta on both sides, and a lot, since I'm doing subtraction property of equality, subtraction on both sides is still going to work, I'm left with cosine squared of theta equals 1 minus sine squared of theta. Does that, everybody see what I did? Is that okay? Just to rewrite our equation so it looks like that. So now that I know that 1 minus sine squared of theta is equal to cosine squared of theta. So therefore, I can simplify this just to cosine squared of theta. And that's it. Okay? Ta-da!